Let me show you around. <laughs> My name is Mariel Guzman, and I'm a multidisciplinary artist living in Fort Worth, Texas. I got this from art school. This cactus here, it's one of my favorites. They were gonna throw it away because they just thought it was a really bad looking banana. I think that's what makes it really cool though. I definitely like to recycle a lot of materials, especially, yeah, from thrift stores, finding all kinds of fabrics or just random objects. Here's one of my sculptures. It's thrifted fabric and there's a mattress pad. I think like the experience when I'm at the thrift store and I see an object then I can just kind of brainstorm and imagine what I could use it for. I just didn't know they made them this big. <laughs> this is an example of nature just doing amazing things with colors. There's another sculpture up there also made from a mattress pad. I think this is one of the things that reminds me that there's things whenever you're a kid that you really love and make you so happy and they will still have that effect on you when you're an adult. But you have to be open to it and not be embarrassed. Um, it's a fruit bowl that I hand painted. These are my newest that I've hand painted. So here we are at my first mural. I was ever commissioned and trusted to paint their entire wall. It was amazing to be able to like be commissioned by women that I interned with and that trusted my vision because I really admire them. So they just basically told me, here's this whole warehouse. It was important to make something that was very bold. So over the years, I've dabbled in many different mediums. I've experimented with sculpture and I've been doing a lot of murals all over the US and Mexico. All of this is kind of culminating into what's going to be created for Meow Wolf. Growing up in Mexico and growing up in a very colorful, vibrant culture really inspired me and influenced the way I want to see the world, no matter where I travel. I love the fact that in Mexican culture, overall, it's everybody is very passionate about everything and I think color really brings out that passion. So I grew up in a very creative family. My mom is a painter and my brother also started finding his own styles and with my sister. We all have very different artistic styles which I think is very fascinating and my mom just always kind of pushed that getting in touch with our creativity and always maintaining that. Salvador Dali. That's one of my parents' favorite artists. They actually named my brother Dali after him. Like growing up with that kind of culture is very, very inspiring and makes you want to create your own legacy of your own with your own family and things that you can pass down to your kids. Whenever you start to tap into something that feels authentic to you or right, or you want to keep exploring that, even if everybody around you and even if your family especially like doesn't get it, at the end, what matters is just really tapping into that specific thing in your mind that you can't stop thinking about, you wanna keep creating and exploring because that's where I think the magic happens and you can't even believe that that came out of your brain. We just wanna make more. It's really important to take those times to celebrate every work that you make as an artist in your career. No matter if it's a huge mural or like a small painting you made or a doodle in your sketchbook, just be thankful that you're still making it every day and take time to reflect on them and just see what's happening because each one is telling its own story about your life in that specific moment. For Meow Wolf, I'm creating this room that kind of just this accumulation of all these worlds that I've created over the years, especially abstract, surreal worlds and places where I could feel like I would belong, especially being an immigrant. You kind of lose a sense of home and like where you feel like you can be your most authentic self because you kind of dealing with being in two different cultures. And I think art for me was like where I could create my own world and like it could be exactly what I want it to be and nobody was like, oh, it's not enough of this or this. What I want for people whenever they experience it is to just let their imaginations 
just run wild with it and find a way that they can also feel at home there and that they can belong and know that they're also invited. <laughs>